morning everybody out there in the world of YouTube. Today I want to talk about one of the most important things in my life and that's my cooler. Okay, because there's a cooler with me no matter where I go. So in this video I'll talk about five things you need to know before you buy a cooler. I mean, those questions like, is the fish gonna fit in it? Or how many beers am I taking? Or is the ice gonna last all day? Or two days, or five days? Okay, so I've done a lot of experimenting on these coolers. If you watch that one where I sprayed one with foam to make the ice last longer, and the other one where I tested the Yeti versus Old Red, and then the Igloo. Well, we're gonna talk about that in this video. So here we go, I'm pretty pumped about this. Here we go. All right guys, this is, this is my world. I'm Jack, and this is my world of Jack Molly, where we cook fish and dishwashers, and we live the beach life. So if you're wondering what kind of cooler you should get, well, you came to the right place, because I've done a lot about coolers, and I've got one in the back of the truck at all times. So, the number five thing you need to think about when you're trying to figure out what kind of cooler you're gonna get is size, because they come in a lot of different sizes. You've got the big ones, you've got the little ones, so you've got the 20 quarts, the 40 quarts, and so on. In my personal opinion, all when it comes to the big coolers, is they're usually too big. By the time you fill them up with ice, and uh, you gotta take it to where you're going, you're not moving again, it's pretty heavy. But they will last a long time, like if you're going on a four day trip and you fill that whole thing up with ice, you're gonna get some longevity out of that ice. But usually on a daily, like out to the beach or to college football games or whatever, the 20 quart is usually big enough. It'll take your lunch and it'll have quite a few beers at the same time. So for me, I usually go with the smaller 20 quart coolers. My Old Red's about the same size, if you've seen that one. Uh, my Yeti 20, uh, the Igloo, it's really a 20, but I think it's like a 24 that they sent me. That one's that size, and it'll usually do everything I need to do for the day. But this is a serious question you really gotta think about. Think about how long you're gonna be out there and how much you're gonna take. If you're not going for the weekend, it's just a day, I'd rock the smaller one, the 20 quart. But if it was a, a long, like you're going for the weekend, you're gonna need that bigger cooler. So you might need more than one cooler. So the number four thing, going from the back to the front, is if you're gonna get a hard cooler or a soft cooler. So here's my opinion on the hard and soft coolers, okay? The hard ones are awesome. They'll last longer, both physically not getting beat up and destroyed, and they will hold your ice a little longer. Those soft coolers, they're portable. They're usually a little smaller. Uh, they're light, they can squish down to put in the back, you know, like behind your seat for a late or a rainy day, or they'll go in the front of your kayak and stuff like that. But they usually don't hold the ice as long. I know you Yeti guys are gonna argue with me on that, but they won't hold it as long. But I wanted to add here, if you don't keep the cooler top closed, no ice will stay in any of these coolers. And I'm speaking to Samantha on this one. The zippers will wind up wearing out or getting rusted if you're at the beach and it's in salt water a lot. But they do well if you want to stuff in the front of a kayak hatch or in the back seat or you know, of your kayak or uh, behind the seat in the car. But you're just going to have to decide on do you want something that's going to last a long time, hold ice a long time that you can stand on, sit on, use it as a chair, a stepping stool, which you can with a lot of these coolers that are a little more high end. So you're going to have to decide between a hard and a soft. Soft's going to be a little smaller, not as durable, and it's not going to hold as much and the ice is gonna melt a little faster, but you're getting a lot of flexibility with it. That's a good one, flexibility. That's a good way of explaining it. With the hard one, it's not gonna fit in the random places. It's gotta be the size of the cooler, but you can stand on it. It'll hold ice a little longer. And for me, I like the hard coolers. I use the soft ones for like my bait and stuff with a little like water bottle, like a frozen water bottle in there. If you're still with me, smash the like button. Destroy it. Okay, so this next one is weight. Weight is one of those things that you don't really think about when you're getting the cooler. Okay, we're thinking, I want a Yeti, I want an Ingle, I want an Arctic, I want a hard one that'll last a long time. But when it's July in Pensacola Beach and you gotta lug that thing all the way from the parking lot to the water, you're gonna be, it's gonna be a hustle. Like the other day, I was going to a party down the street and I had to carry it all the way there it was heavy okay so think about that the cheaper ones are lighter but as they get lighter you lose less foam and insulation and they're only gonna last the ice isn't gonna last as long the heavier ones will last a long time but they're heavy us young guys don't think about it the older i get i start feeling that thing i go more like 25 yards and that doggone yeti gets heavy same way with that it glued 20 
they start getting heavy. But honestly, you can remedy that by getting one with wheels. I had one with wheels one time and I left it in a hotel room in Austin, never to seen before, and it was my most favorite cooler. Almost up there with old red. But that's why I kind of lean with those 20 quarts. The 20 quarts are, are lighter. They, uh, I, I couldn't take Samantha's big cooler around everywhere. I think you need two hands, and it, you almost need a rope over your shoulder to get this thing from point A to point B. It is a pain in the butt. That's why I go with the 20 quart size, the smaller ones. They just tend to like kind of fit my lifestyle because I'm usually not going very far for very long unless we're camping. And that brings me to the next one, which is how long are you keeping the ice? You really got to put this in your head. Honestly, for the truth of this question, if you're going in as an afternoon to like the beach or the water or whatever, like just about any cooler will do. The Walmart $16 jobbers will last the afternoon with ice and you'll be just fine. If you're going the whole day from like seven or eight and the sun's gonna be beating down on it and it's gonna be hot outside, you're gonna need a cooler with some, some walls on it. And that's where the more expensive coolers tend to be a little better. I know you're gonna say, well, ice is cheap. Well, when you're out there a lot, it adds up. So like that's why I like, I like that Igloo 20 or anything in that range. It'll last that full day. Don't get it twisted. It's not going to last too much longer than that. But those Yetis will last in the second day. Same way with the Arctics and the Ingles and the Kodiaks, etc. But if you're camping and you, you really got to have some length, you're going to have to pay for a cooler. Those cheaper coolers just won't last that long. But for a day or an afternoon with a little fish, you'll be fine with a cheaper cooler. That is the truth. I've tested these things left and right. You can watch this video right here where I tested them and the other video over here somewhere where, you, where I tested them and that's just my opinion. Okay, so that's the last thing that I want to talk about is the price. I've been hitting on it in the last few, but the price is one of those things where you just gotta kick yourself, okay? My little igloo red cooler you see on this channel for a long time it's a pretty good cooler for 16 bucks. And if somebody steals it, I'm not gonna scream. Nobody ever stole it out of the back of my truck in six plus years. Never had a problem. Didn't even steal a beer out of it. But, put that Yeti in the back of the truck and he gone, okay? So, same way with my igloo. I'll have to latch it, I'll latch that one down too. And I try to lock it because somebody's gonna steal my beer out. It's just, it's like a thing. It's like, oh, you must have good beer inside there because it's the Yeti or uh, Arctic or whatever. That's just bull crap. But you get what you pay for. The, the cheaper ones don't last as long. Even though I got six hard years out of that little red igloo. Got six hard years out of it. I treated it bad. It never came out of the back of the truck. Sun, sun cracked it, did all kinds of, it's faded. It's pink now almost, and it was red. With price, you get one that just lasts a little longer. And for me, when you're sitting on them, standing on them, using them as a chair, jumping up and down, they're falling down. I actually lit mine on fire the other day. That's another story for another video. But you get what you pay for. So think about it. If you want one to last a long time and you want 30 years out of it, you're going to have to pay for it. And most of these mid range coolers have cheap handles. So think about that too. So I would go with, you know, like a, you know, I know y'all hate about the Yetis, but a Yeti replica. There we go. The ones that are replicas of Yeti, because they're all the same patent, it's all been distributed now. I think they all make them. I think I think these companies may all make the same, it's the exact same cooler. They just stick different labels on it. It's from some manufacturer overseas that's really making them all for these companies. Hashtag don't sue me, bro. If that makes any sense. That's all I got, guys. That's my opinion on coolers. I wanted to do this video because I get a lot of questions about coolers, and I think there's a lot to do over nothing on these coolers. To wrap this up, you get what you paid for. It's just a cooler. If you're not going out for a long time, get a cheap one. If you're going for three or four days, get an expensive one. But if you open these coolers over and over again, they still, the ice still melts. <laughs> Samantha's bad about leaving the cooler open, okay? I'm just venting on that. But I'll see you guys later.